As we review past projects, one of the things that often happens is we learn to adjust our processes. The unified process, or UP, builds upon the classic processes and tries to incorporate the best parts of agile frameworks at the same time as the classical frameworks. The unified process utilizes a lot of UML, or unified modeling language aspects. UML is known as a robust methodology for modeling an object-oriented system and programming, but it also has so much more. UML incorporates communication between systems, determining the flow of data, who can do what, and when systems will be used. UML is used throughout the second part of this course, and we'll discuss it in much more detail then. So right now, let's focus on the phases of the unified process. Similar to a traditional model, UP has separate phases that are semi-aligned to the traditional process models. First is inception, a combination of communication and planning. Elaboration is a combination of planning and modeling. Next is construction, which is the same as development or building. Transition is a combination of construction and deployment, and production is the process of moving software through deployment and putting it into the hands of the users. These are basic steps that the unified process will use to get a project from beginning to end. And as we discuss UML and the different aspects of it, you'll see how it works with inside a unified process.